Hello everybody, you use K92 here for the raw late raw review. Sorry about that. It is a late raw review for uh, March 7, 2016. Uh pretty okay raw, not too horrible. Uh WWE 2K16 in the background, elimination chamber match. I am Daniel Bryan. All the matches that uh, that needed to happen, all the all these rematches and all this stuff there. So Raw opens up with a little highlight package basically saying, you know, Everything that happened between Shane McMahon and Undertaker. Shane comes out. Shane is still super mega fuck it over. I love seeing Shane anytime I can. Uh, basically cuts a promo on Vince saying his ego. He's a miserable old bastard. Which I'm like damn Shane chill. Says that Vince has lost touch with the fans which is completely true. He says he has no fucking idea how he's going to beat the Undertaker. But he'll find a way. Which I'm like that's hilarious. Uh, lights go out, and we get the Undertaker's music, but then it switches to McMahon's music, so, oh my god. McMahon is kissing the ass of the Undertaker here, I guess. Vince is cutting a promo, saying how, you know, Shane sucks. He has this photo of Shane, of him, of young baby Shane. He deletes, he, well, deletes it. <laughs> this is a new age. He throws it on the ground, he breaks it. Uh, again, Vince getting a lot of, like, what chance, and of course, we get the, the stupid CM Punk chant, whatever. Uh, basically, um, Vince brings up Shane's kids and stuff, and I'm like, I don't know, like, this is getting pretty good, but Shane's killing it, man. Shane's promo work is pretty fucking great. And, uh, first match we get is Kevin Owens versus Neville, and this was a fucking good-ass match, man. Fucking, uh, <laughs> Owens is mocking Neville's British accent the whole fucking time. I thought it was hilarious. Fucking good back and forth. Like, Neville is... This is the Neville that we need to fucking see. This is the Neville that deserves to get fucking pushed. Neville fucking hits the fucking shooting star press. A fucking diving shooting star press on the floor. He hits... So, yeah. Owens tries to go for the pop-up power arm. Doesn't work out. He actually ends up beating Neville with a roll-up. One, two, three. Neville... And then Owens just jumps Neville all over again. Which was, was really weird. I think he should have just, like, beat... Well... Uh, you're keeping Neville strong for no reason because they're not going to use him, but... After the match, Owens destroys Neville's. He's about to fucking hit him with a powerbomb on the apron. It looks like he's also going to go for a pile driver, but I know that's not going to happen. And fucking Sami Zayn makes his Raw debut. Well, Raw re-debut, really, think about it. Jumps in, saves Neville. Neville and Zayn high-five. Fucking Owens sells the beating. Owens' face... It's just like, holy shit, he's seen a ghost. Again, I wish they cut the promo that they are destined to do this forever. I was like, holy crap. Uh, there was a funny segment out here with Ziggler and Stephanie McMahon. Where Ziggler's like, hey, remember me? I'm the guy who beat your whole team authority and took the authority out. And Stephanie responds with, no, nobody remembers that. And I'm like, that's so true. <laughs> that's so true. Now we get Summer Rae, Push Summer Rae 2016 versus uh, Brie Bella. Moments into the match, Lana music hits, she comes down. Summer gets a distraction roll up. Again, their favorite thing. That's it. Lana gets in the ring and Lana keeps attacking Brie after every match she's had. She does the same thing on SmackDown. She just keeps like hitting her with her own Bella Buster. I don't know what's going on. Dean Ambrose comes out, cuts a promo. Triple H comes out, interrupts. Basically tells Ambrose to suck it, and that's it. Like, and Triple H tells him he's fighting Bray Wyatt later on, which I'm like, oh, that's gonna be good. Next match we get is a handicap match. It is Sheamus, Rusev, and Wade Bear versus Dolph Ziggler. It's elimination style. League of Nations is beating down Ziggler. Ziggler matches to at least eliminate Barrett, which I'm like, that's to show you where Barrett stands. Leaving him with Sheamus and Rusev to deal with. Sheamus hits the bro kick. One, two, three, done. I kind of wish Ziggler could have eliminated at least one more person. They could have had a one-on-one -on -one match in the end. Maybe at least Ziggler looked better. Sasha Banks and Becky Lynch versus Naomi and Tamina. Sasha, Sasha Banks and Becky Lynch win. Sasha hits. The bank statement locks it out. Tap out victory. Charlotte runs out and lays out both girls, which I'm like, all right. Can't wait for that triple threat match. That triple threat match is going to be really good. Uh... Our truth is trying to give fucking Goldust a pizza, and Goldust doesn't want the pizza. Mark Henry takes the pizza, and I'm like, okay, <laughs> I don't know what's going on. And then we get Biggie and Kofi Kingston, the New Day versus Y2AJ. 
I'm gonna start. I fucking hate Y2H. <laughs> it is the most stupidest little babyest name I've ever heard for a tag team. I love Chris Jericho. I love AJ Styles, but I am so glad this tag team is fucking dead. This was a really good match, actually, between the New Day and uh, Y2AJ. Everybody got their shit in. AJ is fucking flying all over the place, hitting everybody with a fucking form. He hits probably one of the best phenomenon DDTs I've seen in a while. I was watching it with a friend, and she saw that move. She was like, whoa, that's pretty. And I'm like, yo, I know. AJ's offense is amazing. I love this guy's moves. But fucking Jericho goes for the code breaker on Big E. Big E powers them, turns it into the big ending. One, two, three. Clean win for the New Day, which is cool. Jericho lays out AJ. Three code breaker. Takes the Y2 AJ shirt, which I hope everybody everybody didn't buy. <laughs> Shoves it in AJ's mouth and calls him a stupid son of a bitch and just walks out. So Y2 AJ is dead. We're probably going to get AJ and Jericho one more time. Uh, next match is Kalisto versus Tyler Breeze. I saw this and I got excited and then I remembered, oh yeah, it's two guys they don't give a fuck about. Probably five seconds in the match, Kalisto hits the Salido Doso for the Breeze off the turnbuckle, one, two, three, it's over. And I'm like, that is such a waste for fucking this, these two guys. You could have had these guys kill ten minutes at least and fucking have a banging ass match. I don't know what the fuck, that was so stupid. Again... Like, that's the thing. How can anybody from NXT see what they did to Tyler Breeze and want to come up over there? And we get Ryback versus Curtis Axel. You know, the social outcast is out there. Fucking Rybaxel reunion, man. I was like, yo, my favorite tag team, Rybaxel right there. Back and forth action. Ryback turns to tight and starts beating the pit. I love Ryback's new thing. Where he just beats you for like five minutes in the like beats you on the ground for five minutes, gets you up, hits a shell shock, runs, like he just just leaves, leaves. I love it. Good, good match for Ryback. Good win for Ryback. I hope they do something with the guy. I know a lot of people don't like Ryback, but I think highly of the guy. I think the guy's pretty fucking awesome. And we got to see a fucking Ryback so reunion for a little bit. Main event time. It is Dean Ambrose versus Bray Wyatt. Uh, fucking Bray is getting a lot of offense early on. On the outside, Wyatt fucking delivers the fucking, um, modified Urinagi into the fucking guardrail. That looks like it hurt like a bitch. Back in the ring, Ambrose mounts a comeback, but then the Wyatt family interferes. They beat the shit out of Ambrose. After that, the Wyatt family beats the crap out of Ambrose. Triple H comes out, makes his way to the ring, and fucking Triple H and Bray Wyatt, a match that I have been waiting to see, like, forever. Have a stare down, and the crowd pops so fucking loud. And I'm like, this is what you should be doing at WrestleMania. Having Bray Wyatt fight the machine, and taking on fucking Triple H for the fucking, con like, control, basically. I was so fucking stupid. Triple H, you know, he's taking off his jacket. He's getting ready to beat the shit out of Dean Ambrose. Ambrose hops up, no sells it. Fucking, he was tricking him the whole time. Hits a good-ass Dirty Deeds. Look, Triple H sells his dirty deeds like he got hit by a gun. Ambrose holds up the WWE Championship and Raw goes off air again. Okay, Raw. A lot of... Uh, the Y2AJ New Day match is really good. I'm happy Y2AJ is done. Hopefully they can start fucking pushing Styles as a singles competitor soon. Uh... Uh... uh Roadblock is coming up soon. Roadblock looks actually pretty entertaining. Fucking, we're gonna get our, um, Bray versus Brock match, which I hope that they don't fuck it up. We're gonna get fucking Triple H versus fucking Dean Ambrose, which I expect to be a really good match. I hope it's an act. job by the official here tonight. I don't know how he's managed to keep so many larger than life competitors in check here. Not today, too fast. Oh, wow. Oh, once, will this be enough? Hang on. Two. 
God, there was nothing accurate about that attempt at offense. Oh, you're being too kind. Hey, the shoulders are down. Go out here, you're going for the cover. He's looking at it again. The yes lock. Yes, yes, yes. This could be all she wrote. Well, the trick sometimes when you get outside the ring is survive. I don't believe the destruction we're seeing. This guy's just going from one paint. One, two. And Sami Zayn said packing. Man, what a deflating defeat for Zayn. Catch him off guard. Quick round count. Bryan certainly had that one well scouted. Yeah, that's because Daniel Bryan is so prepared every time he steps in the ring. Perfectly executed. Oh, out here you have to be able to think on your feet lightning fast. One mistake. One moment of hesitation, and you can find yourself in a world of hurt. Here we go. Back inside the ring. What do you mean, we? We're still outside the ring, Cole. It's them. They're inside the ring. Daniel Bryan going to work now. just how widespread the back pain is. We'll find out soon enough. No kidding. This is bad. Look out. He's got his sights set on that neck region. Good grief. How is he still conscious? Wow. He's still down after that. Man, he's still down after that move. I almost wonder if his bell got seriously rung there. We're looking at complete domination here. of Daniel Bryan is working well right now. Oh, his body has to be broken right now. He needs to dig way down deep if he wants to keep going now. Hey, he's going for it again. Seth Rollins delivers the pain in an astonishing fashion, folks. This should do it right there. I think this is it. John Cena's gone. Oh, man. Cena's going to agonize over this one for a while. These guys are giving it their all here tonight, not just to entertain the fans, but to ultimately walk away with the win. Sit next to you. Look at this hang time. It's incredible. He's in full on attack mode now. What a counter that was. Oh, wait. Nice reversal. The shoulders are down. Two, three. What a tremendous victory. There was no love lost in that match. And look at the impact in these highlights. Look at this. This was a match that was simply mesmerizing. Oh, those WWE competitors, I can't believe what we saw in that match. Here's your winner, Daniel Bryan. And that's a huge...